Fine Tuned on BBC Radio Bristol. Hello and welcome to another edition of Fine Tuned with your host Kate Salisbury. This week, a strange letter from a young man called Joseph. He writes, Dear Kate, I'm writing to you to ask for some help. Some time ago I received an email from a chap called Lee Ashcroft to whose forthcoming album as Mitsumatosis very unprofessional I contributed a remix. He asked if I'd like to take part in a compilation called Can Buy Me Love. I agreed and planned to make something genuinely good and musical, but all I managed was an abortive cut-up of Lily Allen and half a song with a terrible guitar solo that I'm probably going to edit out. I was talking about the project with my flatmate Sam, also known as SJ Esau, and he came up with a great idea. Why don't you just make an advert, he said. This is where you come in, Kate. A CD of mine was released earlier this year by Wrong Music under the pseudonyms of Two Season K and DJ Sarah Wilson, called Jesus is a Brave Little Toaster Volume 1. Take nothing but footprints, leave nothing but photographs. I would like you to make me an infomercial for it. It features reimaginings of material by local favourites Steve Less, Onanist Homework Robot and Iguano Ignoramus, Gravenhurst, My Ambulance is on Fire, Hunting Lodge, Freeze Puppy, Team Rick, Rag, Get to Sleep, I Know I Have No Collar, SJ Esau, Big Joe, Astaroth, Dislogic, James Scatter, Knowledge of Bugs, Landslide Purist, Jess Marlow of Moose and Tatsky, whose name I misspelt on the sleeve with an I rather than a Y. Team Rick and SJ Esau have Pay the favour by covering songs of mine alongside my wow. university pal and video director and Russell. Wow. On one track, Dan Bennett from Hunting Lodge provides a bespoke guitar part to a specially written vocal by Rasha Shaheen. There's also Blink and You'll Miss It cameos from members of Boredoms and Lightning Bolt, plus the lead singer of 90s indie sensation Strange Love. Internationally renowned sound artist and double world record holder Yannick Shaver has a shave. My family do a cover version of Björk and I pay homage to my heroes Matt Moss for the remix of a run out groove. Other sonic lights you might encounter beneath the lovingly handwritten brown card cover are elastic band balls, yo-yo instructors, general midi, a packet of love hearts, irate cafe workers, no input electronics, gunshots, corrupted sound files, fridge freezers, a gramophone record of 78 RPM test tones that was later destroyed by DJ Ed Siebert, and a random audience member sight reading on the piano. Tracks from the album have been played on BBC Radio 1, as well as the last episode of Mixing It on Radio 3. So, Kate, what I would like you to do, if you are willing, is to record yourself reading out this message. Could you include an introduction as well, along the lines of Hello, Hello and welcome, and welcome to, another to another edition, edition of Fine Tune with your host, Kate, Kate Salisbury. Salisbury. This week, this week a, strange a strange letter from a young, from a young man, man called, Joseph. called Joseph. He writes, he writes, Please make sure to read out everything I've written, including all of the parts which refer to how you should read it out and the postscript. It'll be very postmodern. Just record your voice on its own and I will provide a backing track made from recordings of the artists and the music that I refer to. It would be great if you could also provide me with the fine-tuned jingle, but if not, I can take it from the internet stream of the show. Thank you very much for your time and help, Kate. I hope to see you soon, for truly you are the third shortest person I know, and I am the fifth tallest. Yours, hopefully, Joseph Howard Grounds. P.S. You could also say something at the end of reading out the message, like, Well, Joseph, I'll see what I can do. That'd be really nice of you. Well, Joseph, I'll see what I can do. 